Wow, what a few weeks of trading it's truly been. Of course, in my last video update to you to the public, I was explaining why I was in a short trade on Bitcoin. We had just seen the rejection off of the daily. And from that, we had seen a little bit of a pullback and heading sideways. You know, I came in here, Whoa, you have to remember the world was very bullish. We had just seen, you know, the very bullish XRP news. We had seen Bitcoin breaking out of its range, supposedly. You know, and a lot of people just absolutely bullish once more. I flipped the script on its head and I told you all I'm in a short trade and I'm going to trade the charts. The trading the charts for me is my <laughs> is my motto and that is of course what I will continue to do. And well we can see in the end how that worked out very nicely indeed, right? We got the rejection off the daily, we got the confirmed failed auction and we made our way down and down and down where to the absolute opposite end of the range ending in a swing failure pattern of the range low once more. From there, it's actually gave me a long trade entry. So right now I am sat in a long trade and I'm gonna be explaining where I'm looking for next. I would still like higher prices to come. So I'll be explaining those targets with the, in this video to you and telling you exactly what to be looking for next. You know, when this target's hit for the reversal short trade. So a lot of information, knowledge and insights I wanna pass on to you in this video. So as always, I'm just gonna ask one thing for you and that is that you pay attention to that that I share with you today because I truly know it can actually help you, you know, become a successful and profitable trader. So with that said, let's get into the information that you wanna hear and I wanna start off by explaining this large move to the downside, okay? Building up the context, moving on to the trade setup that we're within now, you know, and this really brings us for the next few weeks of price action to come. So first of all, the move to the downside that we saw here. Of course, in that last video that I gave you, I was explaining why I had taken the short trade. There was two short trades to be had. First was the simple rejection off the daily. This was an acceptable short trade that I personally did take after we rejected from that daily. We hit the daily. For me, that was a valid short trade entry. Then we had another valid short trade entry, which was off of a failed auction setup. Okay, and I've actually got a quick, just literally 55 second clip here to play for you. Uh, my thought process live in the time after we'd seen this failed auction for the, you know, the second highest probability short trade entry, just so you can understand my thought process, the way I'm gathering my targets, my take profits, the take profits, the stop losses that I have off of this trade. I think this is a really insightful clip for you, 55 seconds long, uh, just so you can see what I'm looking at live in the time as we come into those levels. Price has finally come up to hit our higher term time frame target now, giving us a swing trade short. That is a rejection off of the daily target that we had. So entry, stop loss above that wick. And actually we can target this all the way down to the other end of the range once more. Okay. And of course we lose this range. Next target sits around $27,000. Uh, though from here I will start to trail the stop loss. So the important thing for me right now is the entry. Uh, which is based off of a failed auction, offered a range high onto the daily. You know, this is a setup target that we've had for so long. <laughs> of course, I've already told you in the Discord that I've taken this short, but uh, now here's the video just to explain why I've entered the short exactly because of the failed auction of the range high rejection off the daily. This is an entry trigger for me now. Stop loss is above the high. Target one for me is going to be the opposite end of the range. And target two will be down at around $27,000. So really simply, what I had going on there was the valid short trade entry, again, off of a failed auction. Again, there was two valid short trade entries, took both. First was off the daily, the second was the failed auction. For the failed auction, really simple stuff. You had a long time to enter this short trade. Stop loss is above the high. First target, as I mentioned to you, was the opposite end of the range. Opposite end of the range coming in right here. And I just wanna show you how this one played out. Okay, opposite end of the range. We hit the opposite end of the range, as you can see right there. That gave the absolute low of the move currently. Okay, uh, so yeah, you also, of course, had the secondary entry off of the CC retest here. So there was a lot of potential, a lot of opportunity to get into that short trade. The most important thing was having the confidence to take that short trade entry when it's given to us, right? From there, of course, things went very quickly indeed as we made our way very fast through uh, several levels that we had here, really simply like butter, no reaction, just keep waiting for lower prices at that moment in time, right? So for me, it was nice free fall on Bitcoin, remaining short and chill for now. Hey, that was still back on the 14th 
of July. Okay, so we had the entry. Now it's just remaining short and chill. And we come down, hit the daily. And as you can see, myself and other members of Chart Champions also managing to take that short trade. Chart Champions power, truly grateful. CC ball. At the end of the day, it all come down to having that confidence, right? To trade the charts. Well, there were a lot of bullish people up at that breakout area. You know, it's important to... You know, don't let your emotions get the better of you. At the end of the day, you've seen a rejection, you've seen a failed auction. There's only one thing to do there. It is take the short. And, you know, many people all with that entry within the group, those members, uh, you know, with very respectable short trade entries, they're around $31,000. Okay, what happened? Well, we obviously came down to formally swing failure pattern of the range low in the end. So for me, swing failure pattern of the overall range low, yes, that is now a long trade setup. Of course, this is a very, at this moment, important, crucial time to be locking in, at least take profit one, offer that short trade of the range high, take profits on the long, and sorry, take profits on the short trade from the range high that we were talking about. And that then actually gave a long trade setup. Why? Because it's simply a swing failure pattern of the overall range low. That is a long trade setup. Um, of course, yesterday still was going very nicely indeed. No reason to close out of that long yet. And I've just finished an update for the members, as always, on the daily morning updates. I've done my daily morning update this morning for the members, and I also, you know, explained once more, remain long, remain looking for higher prices. Uh, so once again, you can see other champions also, after taking that short with us at the high, are now taking that long with us at the low from that 29,700 zone after the swing failure pattern. <laughs> A lot of people are able to uh, absolutely take full advantage. And this is what gives you the position to be in, right? Short from the high, long from the low. From here, we can, you know, wait to see the reactions and one of these trades to play out. But this is the style of trading that we teach. Short from high, long from low, you know, then remain a bit patient as we come into more bigger levels on the chart. Just absolutely wonderful to see. So, yeah, that brings us over to right now where we are. Um inside of this chart. So as mentioned earlier, I personally took a long from the swing fire pattern of the low as long with many other champion members. And biggest level that I'm looking for right now above us here is, well, we got two levels directly above us that we're coming into. The first is simply a range high. So I will put this in, I'll put that this is a key level for us so you can differentiate in white. So that would be our local range high. Okay, which is a acceptable place for a reversal short if we get another SFP off of this, right? <laughs> or a failed auction. And directly there, we also have the NPOC. So this naked point of control also sits on the range value area high. So that we do have a lot of confluence. We might have just tap this value area high right now, right? So you can see coming into the range point of control on the value area high on the NPOC. So we're definitely coming up into some resistance here. Of course, this is not a time to be opening a long. OK, this is uh, now seen a move of nearly 3% to the upside. This is the time where, you know, just as when you take a short from the high, you've got to take profit one, which will have been locked in by now. Stop loss can now be moved to entry. Even if this pumps to $50,000, that short is a winning trade, whatever happens next. Well, we want to get into that same position with the long right so we can get into the long trade. We want to lock in that take profit one so we can put ourselves in a winning position, whatever happened next. So if this does drop down to $27,000, we still made profit. Why are we in this game of trading? To make profits. It's not to become egotistical, anything like this. It's it's You're not doing this for anything else than to make profits at the end of the day. Okay, It's just focus on the charts, trade the reaction, make profits. So we do want to take profits. Okay, the greedy, egotistical side of you, the emotional side of you might be thinking, I don't want to take any profits because this could just continue to pump and I want to get in maximum gains. Just as if in the short trade, come down, you see wonderful profits. Oh, I don't want to lock in a profit here in case it continues to drop even further. Okay, now that emotional side of you would have thrown away profits, right? So we got to get into the habit Again, I'm not going to lock in profits too early, just as I've been telling my team over the past few days while we were arranging here. I've not hit a take profit yet. So if from here we had just made our way down, would have missed my take profit one. But here we are making our way up to the area that I've given my team in the daily update of a take profit one. This is into the range point of control onto this value area high on the NPC. This is all our acceptable area, okay? Up until the high of the, you know, what I call the mini range high, where then we can look for the SFP type trade, okay, currently forming that lower high. 
So for me, this is a way that we have to like plan out the trades. Okay, it all comes together to making a plan. I want to end, wrap it up here with some, you know, some simple but effective strategies and thought processes that you have to be implementing into your trading if you truly want to be successful. Okay, first of all, it's mark out the levels. Okay, so mark out the levels. This is what we teach. This is probably the easiest part of trading, right? Okay, if you struggle with marking out the levels, if you struggle with the technical analysis, well, we got the whole course and everything that you need to learn the theory side of things within the course, right? Within the speed runs. If you want the templates, etc., we got all the templates for you too. So there's no excuse not to have the technical analysis on lockdown. But that's the first step, right? Do your technical analysis. Then it's marking out the levels. And once you've got the reaction, it's taking the trade. So you see the reaction from the daily. That is a valid short trade entry, okay? There's no hesitation. It's a valid short trade entry. If you're more of a conservative style of trader, which is absolutely fine too, well then you wait for things such as the failed auction or the confirmation of a swing failure pattern, which we can use using order flow, which we can use using TPO theory. Again, all taught on our course. But then this is a very now high probability. At this moment, there is no excuse not to be taking the short trade. There's no excuse if you have mastered your emotions and psychological aspect of trading. That's the, you know, I want to say that's the hardest part of trading, right? Managing the emotions, managing your expectations. And you've got no reason not to lock in that short trade. And again, as I mentioned, the biggest target was the opposite end of the range. So when you hit the opposite end of the range, what do you do? You don't become greedy. You don't become, you know, thinking it's going to continue to drop. You see a valid swing failure pattern of the range low. Well, that is then a valid long trade setup. Understand, you can be in a short trade and a long trade simultaneously at the same time. Again, I trade on Bybit. On Bybit, you can do this using the USDT tether pair, where you can hold a long and a short at the same time, all within the same pair, very easy indeed. If you trade the USD pair, you can have your main account in a long trade, for example, and you can create a sub account. So it's all within the same login, but you can have a sub account uh, to hold then the short position on the USD pair. Very easy, instant transferables, but that's how I personally would manage this going along on buy bit, right? So you can hold those two positions simultaneously. And then, you know, like many others beside us, whether it's Bitcoin, whether it's the altcoins, you know, listen to put yourself into good positions, holding shorts from high, holding longs from lows. And then it's remaining patient to see the take profit being hit on those trades, not getting greedy, hitting take profits, adjusting stop losses where necessary and, you know, taking full advantage of the market that we have in front of our eyes. So uh, again, these YouTube videos are, you know, really just giving you very close key levels to be aware of, you know, snippets of what you can see with inside of the group, with inside of the whole membership that we offer at Chart Champions. And this is where you get the full experience, you know, the live trading. So if you want to see all these live trading, well, we have live trading streams for you, right? So within our new video library, this is where you have the new live trading. And if you want those sort of trade snippets, so those live trade snippets like I've showed you in this video. That's where we got the trade recaps. <laughs> uh, so you got all that live theory that you'd like to see as well as the live trading, as well as all of the contender sessions and you know the theory type of things uh, all with inside the uh, membership package as well. So yeah, for me, um, final rundown here. We are moving up into our first major zone of resistance. This is definitely a take profit zone. For me, though, I've not got a trigger to short yet, okay? So I'm looking for that entry trigger to short. Again, when I get that, I will update you within the Discord. I will update within the Discord when we get that valid short trade trigger. For me, that's not happened yet. So I'd like to see one or two things, either a failed auction mini here, but preferably a move up to test my NPOC to the uh, range high. If we get the rejection there, well, then I will. What I'll do is I'll go straight over to the order flow and, you know, judge that reaction to judge is that a valid entry trigger for me? Simple stuff. If I don't, then I'll look for the breakout here and a bigger move to the upside. Again, we've got a nice single prints here to be filled. That's filled, sits under TPO theory. Uh, but for me now, yeah, as always, a little bit of patience to be had because I've not got a trigger. I'm not going to long here. Neither am I going to short. I'm in the short from the high still, hit take profit one. I'm in a long from the low. And well, I haven't hit that take profit one because I would like to see the NPOC. So yeah, again, I'm taking a little bit of risk. But um, for me, I'm, I'm happy to do that uh, for the trigger of a potential then reversal short. If I don't get that trigger, I'll look for the reversal. 
I hope that you have understood what I'm trying to get across here. And that is some key theory points, some key levels to be aware of. And, um, you know, really trying to build you up to be a successful and profitable trader. It's the one and only reason I'm here. I do want to see you succeed. I do want to see you profitable. And, you know, the hard work, the determination, blood, sweat and tears that you put into this, I want you to see that it's absolutely possible. You know, there's thousands of people alongside you putting in that same grind and seeing results at the end of it. You know, it's not an easy journey, but it is a journey that is achievable um, to reach success. OK, and then you can have vacations with the family once you're doing well. So, yeah, hope you've all enjoyed this. Just look at this from Scott. Shout out to Scott, by the way, an absolutely brilliant example of somebody that puts in the work and and nets the results at the end of it. And that's the type of P&L curves that you're looking for. Good win rates and, um, you know, good, good results. So, yeah, I'm going to wrap it up there. I'm going to say thank you ever so much. I truly do love you all. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, I'll catch you next week for a video on Monday. I release a video with some really cool tips and tricks that I have for you, as well as, as, of course, an update on the market of how we're going. So cheers, everybody. Hope you've thoroughly enjoyed. That's me signing out. Thank you. Goodbye.